Welcome back to my channel, y'all. My name is Dion. I call this the Crazy True Nation of YouTube. We're going to just jump in because we got some stuff to, to, to do. And I was going to do a live, but the lighting in the live is not as good as in a video. So, but I thought to do a live because then you do it, it's done. Don't have to edit, don't have to upload, whatever, whatever, whatever. So, we're talking about today's March 8th. The two new, well, two of the new House Labs blushes because I have five of the other ones. The only one that I didn't have that I had and I returned was, I want to say Dragon Fruit Days. I think that's the one because it was very similar to Lavender Blonde. Not dupes, um, but I, the tone of it, the undertone of it, I liked Lavender Blonde better. So I'm like, well, I, took, I took back Dragon Fruit Days. So... I did buy the two new ones. I'm going to correct myself because they were promoting the new ones as talc free. And then it said the same formula as the previous ones. So I'm like, what? So I went down a little miniature rabbit hole and I saw that there was silica in both of the formulas because I compared the old formula compared to the new formula. Everything lined up the same thing. They both had silica in it. Silica is one of the components of talc. But what I found was today earlier, because I said I wanted to make sure I was right. So I looked up silica because before I had looked up talc and it said what the components of talc is. And let me do that first. Talc is a clay mineral composed of hydrated magnesium silicate. Magnesium Mg, silicon Si, those are the chemical things. I'm not good at science. <laughs> hydrogen, which is O and no, hydrogen, which is H, and oxygen. So magnesium, silicon, oxygen, and hydrogen. That's what makes up talc. And so when I saw silica, I'm thinking that was the same thing as the silicon that makes up talc, and it is not. Silica is silic silicon dioxide. So that's a little confusing, too, because silicon is one of the components of talc. Silica is also known as silicon dioxide. It's a mineral that occurs naturally in our bodies. The chemical formula of silica is SI02. The silicon in talc is just SI. And what it does is, I'm sorry, I was reading something else I wrote. What it does is it helps with texture enhancement. It does have abrasive properties. It has, um, it's an absorbing agent. It can absorb um, excess oil and moisture. It can help mattify. It's also a bulking agent. It has volume and substance to the product to enhance consistency. And it's an anti-caking agent, which means it prevents clumping and caking. So that's silica, which is also silicon dioxide. So it's a bit confusing um, because silicon is one of the components of talc but these products are talc free. So it's just the formulation or whatever. So my personal pet peeve was, I already told you I have five of them because they all look the same, you know, label whore here. Hi, my name is Deanna. I'm a label whore. I put what it is. And on the back, I put what it's described as. This is what a melon bliss. I have this one now. These came out, these were $38 and they were 11 grams. Some people complain, that's a lot of product. I'll never get through it. I don't have like tons and tons of blushes. Five of the house labs. I only have a Sigma one because it was gifted to me from Grace. I only have a, a Mac one because that was free with something. And so I will get through it. I don't mind. And the PAO is 24 months. So this should be good at least 24 months after I opened it. So I will be sure to get used out of all of my house labs blushes. So when the new ones came out, well, let me back up. One of the complaints was, it is too big. I'm never going to get through it. I have, you know, 35 blushes. You know, I'd rather have, you know, a lower price and less product. Well, guess what? Now we have less price and less product. So I ordered both of them. And when I saw the boxes, I was like, are you freaking kidding me? And it's really not that different. This is the highlighter for the new one. Not It's new to me, Fire Opal. So it's really not... And it's the same size as the blush box. So this is the difference in the box. And so when I saw the blush 
the blushes, they were just at the bottom of the Ulta bag. I ordered online, picked up in store. And I remember when I purchased the blushes, they had to stack them because you couldn't put them side by side on at the bottom of the bag. So when I saw them, I'm like, what are these little travel size blushes? These are $32. It is not unheard of for high-end blushes to be 28 I, excuse me i think makeup by mario was like 28 dollars i think and um, pat mcgrath is like 30 something so it's not unheard of to spend 32 dollars for a blush but my what i don't have a goat anymore because it got my goat um it's 32 dollars and it's five grams of product 38 dollars 11 grams $38, 11 grams, $32, five grams. If you're going to give me half the size, if you're going to give me a travel size, charge me travel size. I hear you. I purchased it. So just how I say, don't buy a palette and complain it doesn't have the transition color. You know, they made the choice to buy it. I bought it. So I'm not, I'm not going to fault the product because I had a choice. I did and I chose to buy it. But my thing is, 11 grams, this is five. That's less than half, but you're only charging $6 less. This should be, in my mind, this should be like no more than like $22. Because that's half of, a little less than half of what this is. And even at 22, that's still, two of these would be 44, which is still a little less than this, because that would be 10 grams for... Yeah, 44 bucks. So it would be a little bit more still. But it's less than half. And it's only $6 cheaper. A lot of people don't care. A lot of comments were, I don't care about the price. It's a smaller, you know, compact. There's less product. I'll use it all. Y'all, I was like... And so I was feeling some kind of way. Like, look at that. <laughs> I'm feeling some kind of way. And, but then I'm thinking I'll use it and then I'll fall in love with it because I know I love the formula. It's the same formula. So it's just a matter of, will the colors suit me? And so when I picked them up and I saw how small it was, I told the lady, I said, I might be bringing it back. I don't know. And she was like, okay. <laughs> she looked at me like, okay. I, I, I'm really feeling some kind of way, but I purchased it. I purchased it. But if you, and for those of us, for those of you who don't have the $38 11 grams one, the $32 five grams may not mean anything to you. And I th I don't know if it was Trim Mood, one of those um, pages where she did a, she showed price comparisons, price per gram for like six or seven different blushes. House Labs was, was near the top. Like House Labs is like having us consent, you know, without lube kind of stuff. But I bought it and people are excited to buy it. So I'm not dogging it. That's just my pet peeve. But again, I purchased it and I am second guessing my choice, like seriously, but then I'll put it on and be like, wow, this is great. But then because I have five of the other ones, I'm still just like, okay, what's this the impulse buy? Like, I don't know. Cause we knew days ahead of time. So it's not like it just came out today and I bought it, which I did, but I knew it was coming out today a couple of days ago. So this one is French rosette and I have in my phone what it's described as. <laughs> I want to say a nude peach, but don't quote me on that. So this is nude rosette and I meant to write it down. I wrote down all the other notes and didn't write that down. And then I got the other one, which I was excited about, Fire Moon. So this is, it's just so freaking... Like, well, I just can't, I'm having trouble getting over that. Because look at this. It's the palm of my hand. And then I pick up this one and it's like, <laughs> I, I made the choice. This is Fire Moon. This one I was really excited about. And I forget what it's described as. So Fire, Fire, I'm excited. Fire Moon, even though I'm peeved and french rosette so we're going to swatch both of these and we're going to swatch the other five that i have 
and I do believe they're going to be different. This one I, I was thinking might look similar to Hibiscus Haze. And if it does, it'll just come down to which one do I like more. The same with Lavender Blonde and Dragon Fruit Days. This one, none of them are going to look like this one. I do know that just by looking at it because it looks kind of brownish, even though it says Fire Moon. So we're going to, I have out five Fenty brushes and two... <laughs> Scott Barnes brushes because they're similar in density. Um, Scott is not as dense, but they're very comparable. And so we want to do, you know, use comparable brushes. And we're going to start with the two new ones. Yeah, I, I don't. All right. So, <laughs> and if you're my complexion, this will give you an idea of what it's going to look, look like on my face. And so I'm going to do swatches down here. Because I already have, maybe I don't need to do Watermelon Bliss, because this is a Watermelon Bliss. So, yeah, so we're going to do the two new ones down here. Let me pat my chin in case there's any oils. Let me do this. So if you're around my complexion, you'll see what these look, look like. Um, yeah, so Fire Moon. So we're going to swipe. And I like the formula, so I'm just like, so I think it's going to come down to, as I said, ooh, that's pretty. <gasps> Excuse me. And it is a little powdery, I'm trying to get the glare off, which, well, some of them aren't and some aren't. And it's the way I was swiping it and it's the brush also. So you see some powder at the top, which is not a big deal because you can just scoop it up and then pat in instead of swiping. Tap off if you want, but when I tap, nothing ever comes off. So this is Fire Moon. And I am going heavy, and the blushes are buildable. So if you're lighter than me, use a lighter hand. If you're darker than me, you can build it up. And I like that they have different complexioned models on the page with all wearing the same blushes, so you can get an idea of what it would look like on you. This is a keeper. See, I'm saying it after I just said how like peeved I was. And this was the feeling that I had. I'm like, all it is. And I said, I'll wait for the Sephora sale. And then I'm like, no, because it kept calling me like Crack and Pookie from New Jack City. And so I went out and got it. But this one is French Rosette. I forget what this one is described as. But this one, I think, was new. Whatever it was. I'll put over here what they're described as because it is in my phone and I meant to write it down before. I did not tap. Oh, okay. I'm tapping off and it is a little bit tapping off. This is French Rosette. This is similar to Watermelon Bliss. What I should have did was put this in the center and put Watermelon Bliss and then... Another one that I think it may be similar to. So this is French Rosette. And I am tapping in, not tapping off. We're going to pat. And I am going heavy. This looks almost orange to me. I do have trouble distinguishing color differentiation sometimes. And you guys are like, that ain't orange, girl. I believe you. I really do. That's pretty, too. And it is different than this. Y'all see, all right, we're gonna take Watermelon Bliss. I'm gonna take this. This is not gonna be that. Cause once we build this up, what do I think this will look like? Pomelo Peach maybe? We're gonna do, shh, this is not gonna be that. We're gonna take Watermelon Bliss and I do go light when I put it on my cheeks and all I'm doing is just pressing in where with the smaller ones I was swiping because of the shape of the brush. So this is watermelon bliss. Oh, damn. <laughs> um, so we're just going to pat <laughs> and it does blend out nice. So this, this is not that. And even though we did build up, let me go back to it. This is not going to be that because watermelon bliss is described as a universal red. This is not red. That's not that. <laughs> Damn. Um, <laughs> shit. 
Ah, woo, that, mm. um, I be forgetting. We're going to take pomelo peach and put it next to here. This is pomelo peach. Let's hold them up next to each other. How about that? Um, <laughs> if you're new here for the first time, ooh, French rosette, pomelo peach. Go ahead and subscribe. Um, browse through my playlist if you like my content. Um, and like the videos you like. Comments are always welcome. Yeah. Hmm. All right, let's put on pomelo peach. I do believe it's going to be different, but is it going to be different enough? I want to take a clean brush, and I can tell you that because look at this one. And I am keeping them lined up in order of how I'm using them. So we're pressing in. And. Wow, this is light. And we're pressing and wiggling. So I'm trying to build it up. So we're just like pressing it. It's definitely different. But is it close enough? This could even be a bronzer. The fire moon. The fire moon can even be a bronzer. And then like put one of these like above it. Like put fire moon down here. And put another blush up here. But yeah, these are definitely different. Because I was wondering. Because they look similar in a pan. This is pomelo peach. And I am putting a lot. I'm going back in because I'm trying to see how much it'll build. But it just builds the color that it is. It doesn't get like darker. Like this will tone down because this is here. A very, very, very light hand and a fluffier brush than this one. That's how I get this. When I use Watermelon Bliss and a size guy, I got to use a super light hand. So they are different. Wow. Okay. What are we going to take next? Next, we're going to take Lavender Blonde which is not going to look like any of these either. So what I like about these blushes, aside from the formula, I did not tap off, is that they are distinctly different. I'm going to look like a rainbow on my chin. So Fire Moon, Watermelon Bliss, French Rosette, Pomelo Peach, and this is Watermelon... No. No. Watermelon Bliss, Fire Moon, French Rosette, Pomelo Peach, Lavender Blonde. And that's easy because it looks lavender. Duh, troll. Why is this stuff so difficult for you? I don't know. Now we're going to take Hibiscus Haze. This is Hibiscus Haze. We're going to put that... We're going to take a side sky first because that's red. We're going to put that next to Watermelon Bliss. So this is a size guy. I still am feeling some kind of way about the size. And I'm looking at these two like, it, it is different, but is it enough? Because when I blend out Watermelon Bliss, if I go heavy though, I should, hmm, I don't want to take up too much space blending it out but if you see this outer edge you see what i'm saying so is this similar to that the outer edge and you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna do that on my forehead so what was that one that was the one that's in my hand no it's not i'm confusing myself that was Watermelon Bliss. We're going to do Watermelon Bliss on the forehead next to the French one. And we're going to really blend it out. So, I apologize if I'm confusing you. Like, seriously, I am. So, this is the Sai Sky. <sighs> Ooh, pat. Pow. This is the Sai Sky. And this is, I think, what is it described as? I have a label on the back. So, I'm a label whore. Berry purple. So, it's a berry color with purple in it and even when you blend that out though when I have to go with a light hand with this too but they are like each color is distinct these two kind of blend in a little bit pomelo peach and what was that french rosette lavender is definitely different that's what I like about them when I was away I took all five of them I used them randomly and each one went with whatever look I did it didn't matter like go just go with a light hand so that showed me like I really don't need them all the last one is Hibiscus Haze, which is this one. Where are we going to put you? 
we're going to put you over here. This one is perfect for me. Like, if, if I just want a no makeup, makeup look. Because I can't go wrong with it. And even though I'm just patting it, like, this shade, it just blends. Just It's just the perfect hint of color. Where this is, like, bam, this is pow, this is gorgeous. This is like, yeah, we here. This is like, we're kind of hiding in the back. And this is like, yeah, we lavender, what? What's going on? You know what I'm saying? So each one has its own personality, as you see. <laughs> from how i'm describing them and even when you build it like this one it's only gonna it just still looks how it looks and so i love how each of them are very different and even from lavender blonde to hibiscus haze like it just it's just perfect they're just perfect so all right <sighs> French rosette, we're going to put this on the forehead because I really just want to see. We're going to bring this this way. This is French rosette. And we're going to put watermelon bliss on the other side because I just want to see how close they are. And I really thought it was going to be closer to the peach, which maybe it will be. But I'm just curious about blending this out. Like packing on French rosette and blending out watermelon. From like right here, it looks like it's a. <laughs> I got a bite mark right there, which I don't. It's just the lighting. So that's that one. That's French Rosette. And now we're going to go back to Watermelon Bliss. Whew. Damn, and it just looks so fucking bright, though. I do curse on my channel sometimes. So when I just tap it lightly, and it was like, it's a lot on the brush. But when I tap it lightly and I blend, cause, and that's how I did this. And so looking at it this way, it's like, is it that much of a difference? And it's, surprised, it's surprising me because I really thought it was going to be more like pomelo peach. But I can see the difference between this and the peach. But then, like, is it still enough? Is this still enough for me to keep it? You know what I'm saying? And I, I'm, I'm thinking not. Because I like how this is way different, way different, way different, way different, way different, way different. And these are these two are not way different. And that's how it was with Dragon Fruit Days and um, Lavender Blonde. It was like this. You can tell there was a difference. But if you wore one one day and one the next, you wouldn't be able to tell. So it was a difference, but not much of a difference. So I'm looking at these like, yes, there's a difference. And so what it comes down to, excuse me for that snap and for digging in my ear. Um, it comes down to your complexion, your undertone, what you think looks best on you. For me, these are too close. And since I've been using Watermelon Bliss all this time, actually, excuse me for that snap. I purchased it back in July and I've been using it. And so I do feel like I'm going to take back French Rosette because it's just too close. Yes, it's definitely different. But it's just a little too close. I'm going to take again. Do I have a clean brush? Because I want to. I don't have. Which one did I have? I want to do. Pomelo Peach. This one. This one is here. What am I going to have? I think this was Pomelo Peach. Yep. So I just want to. So we're going to just put this here. This is different, but it kind of blends in. It's different, but it kind of blends in. That looks like lavender blonde. No, it doesn't because that's lavender. So this is definitely the peach one. But, um, yeah, so that's not the same. Yeah, this is lavender blonde. This is pomelo peach. So we did use the right brush. That's strange because up here this look no it doesn't but it looks like it would be close pomelo peach next to lavender blonde lavender blonde pomelo peach so it is the oh yeah okay here we go you just gotta pack I'm, I'm packing it to to see the differences in color and it is different so this is lavender blonde this is pomelo peach Pomelo peach, but that is close too, though, right? Damn. This is different. 
but it is close. Just how these two are close. Silly me because I don't swatch stuff in store. Because if I had, <laughs> I may have not kept both of these, but I do really like both of these. And what I like about these is I can go ham and it's okay. And even if I go ham with these, it, it blends out nice, but I just got to be like, <laughs> and sometimes take my setting powder and <laughs> like these. Yeah, you can definitely tell it's peachy and it's just lavender, but it's still close. So it boils down to what you think would look best on your, your complexion. And this is, pomelo peach is not like this at all, which in a pan, it looks like it would be. I'm going to show them to you in a pan again. So we're going to end this. This is not going to be, I was going to say not super long, but it's been almost a half hour already. So this is what they look like in the pan. French rosette, pomelo peach. French rosette, pomelo peach. But then on the chin, French rosette, pomelo peach. <laughs> and then lavender and blonde and pomelo peach again. My chin and forehead are closer in complexion than my chin and my cheek area, which is neither here nor there because we swatched on our chin and on our forehead. But these two are very close. With a melon bliss, boom, pow. But blend it out is close. And so I do think I'm going to take French Rosette back. So what do you think? What do you think about $38, 11 grams? $32, five grams. <laughs> what do you think about the colors? If you if you don't have any of the other ones, any one would be nice. The, the formula is phenomenal in my opinion. You see how the shades look on me. This is definitely unique to me. And I was looking online, this looked like it was going to be as well. But then putting it next to Watermelon Bliss, it's very similar. And it can pass. And so I don't want to keep both of them. And I've already had Watermelon Bliss and been using it. So let, so let me know what you think. Lavender Blonde, Acai Sky, Watermelon Bliss, Fire Moon, French Rosette, Pomelo Peach, Lavender Blonde. Lam Pomelo Peach, French Rosette, Watermelon Bliss. And this is also Watermelon Bliss on my cheeks too. And the Fire Opal Highlight, which is new to me that I use for this look today. So let me know your thoughts on the price, the quantity. Does it bother you? Does it not bother you? Let me know your thoughts on these two new colors. If you're going to get them, even if you have all the other ones or almost all the other ones. Or if you're just going to get $32 for 5 grams of the older shades. They didn't, they didn't bring back... I didn't see... There's a couple, I didn't see, there's a couple shades. I'm not even going to start naming them because I forget. But there's two shades from before I didn't see. But all together, I think there's six. And there were six before and the two new ones would be eight. So there's two shades that they did not bring back. Um, and they replaced it with the two new ones. And so let me know your thoughts. Let me know if this video was helpful to you. These are the two new ones right here. Let me know your thoughts. Are you going to pick them up? Are you going to wait for the Sephora sale? Which I should have did. I was out of control. Yeah, so the price, the quantity. Um, and if you have the older ones, if you didn't even want to get them, um, if you are going to get the, the two new ones, if you have some of the older ones, or if you're just going to be like, I'm not getting none of them. I'm not even getting in that game. So that'll be it for this video. I didn't do the intro, but... As always, self-acceptance, self-love. That is the Crazy Troll Nation way. Subscribe if you're still here. Thumbs up if you're still here. Please do let me know if this was helpful to you. And I really hope that it was. I hope to see you again soon.